Ever struggle to program a thermostat? You're not alone. A new type of smart thermostat may be a good option. Here's what MG&E's energy expert has to say. It was hard to keep the bedroom at a good temperature because of the fact that we're above a garage. It would be hard to figure out what time do we need to set the thermostat in the morning to make it so that when we get up out of bed, we're not like walking out and stepping onto the frozen floors. My wife wasn't really happy about that. There are studies that show that only 11% of the programmable thermostats that were actually programmed. A lot of people couldn't figure out how to program it. It's just too complicated. Dan Sage was fascinated by the idea of a smart thermostat. I could just tell it, I want it to be 68 in here by 515. It would then turn itself on accordingly. Smart thermostats are far more user friendly. It took maybe five minutes per thermostat to install. You still program the initial settings, but that's about the only similarity to traditional thermostats. You have bigger screens, touch screens, you can control it with a mobile phone. If we knew we were getting out of work early, we could log into the web app, turn the heat up, and smart thermostats learn to make decisions based on what's happening in the environment. It starts to learn how long it takes to heat the space. It also learns, are you in the house at this particular time or are you not? Smart thermostats adapt to your routine. It's got an occupancy sensor in there, so it has the ability to sense motion. It would learn your schedule. And it adjusted as their life and patterns changed after they had a baby. It started to recognize that, oh, he typically wakes up at, at midnight. And so it started to now incorporate that into the schedule. And as his sleep schedule changed, it started to change with us. Smart thermostats are the thermostat of the future, but it's available now. And the cost of smart thermostats have come down. They vary in price from $200 to $250. Though they're similar, different brands do offer different features. The Echo B3 actually provides a remote sensor that you can put in a number of rooms that don't have a thermostat. Then it can communicate that to the main thermostat. Honeywell has the Lyric, and one of the features is geofencing. What that means is your thermostat can determine your location based on your cell phone. If you leave a certain radius of your house, it will turn off your furnace, and if you come back in, it will turn the furnace back on. The Nest provides you with detailed reports telling you like how much energy you use for that month. So you can make informed choices. Because it knows that weather outside, it will tell you part of the reason why your energy was higher this day is because it was colder than normal. It kind of trains you. It'll tell you like you probably shouldn't have turned the heat up at that point in time. And if you want to save some more money, you could have like left it at that temperature for a little bit longer. It's another way to get more intimate with your energy use. I was able to make the home a lot more comfortable and yet still do it in an eco-friendly way. Smart thermostats are peak into a technology that's going to give all of us the ability to work with our home. It does interact with you in a way that makes your life more comfortable. It's the beginning of the future. When people would come to the house, they would be like, oh, that's so cool, I want one as well. And so it's kind of fun to be the geek on the, on the block that had a toy that nobody else had that was doing something kind of incredible.